Now, this one, let's go ahead and recap real quick before we go over to the next um, types of formulas. So to recap, let's go over what we remember. And this is what everybody should have written down. Is that a parallelogram? Okay? Any parallelogram, doesn't matter if it's a rectangle, a square, it just has two sets of parallel lines and things. The area of a parallelogram is going to be area equals base times height. So whatever the orientation of the figure, figure it out so you can determine what the base is and what the height is, and then multiply that. Then we talked about triangles. And find the area of a triangle. It's obviously just one half of a parallelogram. There's many different ways to look at it, but the area of a parallelogram, our area of a triangle, is just going to be one half base times height. So again, you still want to be able to find base and the height. Okay. Now let's go and take a look at a rhombus. I'm sorry, a trapezoid. Okay. Now when we look at a trapezoid. See, the thing is with the parallelogram, is when you look at a parallelogram, these two bases, or these two um, sides are exactly the same, right? <coughs> Parallelograms have opposite equal sides. Correct, Mario? Would you agree with that? Mm -hmm. So if I say, hey, here's the base, well, I could also say that was the base, because they're the same distance, right? They're the same length. However, to be a trapezoid, Angel, do you remember what it takes to be a trapezoid? No? Yes? Okay, so you might want to have this on. A parallelogram has two sets of parallel lines. But one thing we learned in, in Unit 6 was a trapezoid only has one set of parallel lines. And that's it. That's all we need for a trapezoid is for it to have one set of parallel lines. These sides do not have to be equal. So you guys can see that these are obviously different lengths, right? So when we're determining our base, we know that they're parallel. But can I call this the base if I flipped it over? Yes. Yeah, could I call this the base just yes. as it is? Right. So what we have is what we have two bases for a trapezoid. So we'll call one base one and the other one base two. We'll use little subscripts to tell the difference between them. But they're both bases. <coughs> but the problem is, a parallelogram, you could call this the base or you could call this the base. It didn't matter. They're the same length. The trapezoid, the bases are different lengths. So we have to differentiate them. And um, then, finally, we have our height, which, again, is the diagonal going to produce our height, Taylor? No. Or should this produce yeah, our height? Either one. Which one's going to produce the height? Either one. That one. Well, let's that think one's about it, Taylor. Again, you're going to measure me. See how tall I am. I'm 5 foot 9 on a good day, 5 foot 8 on a bad day. Okay? <laughs> if you're going to measure me, where are you going to put the bottom of the tape measure? I'm on my feet, bottom. right? And go straight up. Yeah. You're not going to put the tape measure over there, are you? And then measure to my head? Mm -hmm. No. So remember, when you guys see this slant diagonal, this, if I say that's 8 and that's 5, which, what is actually the height of the trapezoid? Five. 5, right? It's not the diagonal. So just be very careful because you guys are going to give be provided this information a lot. And they're going to want to see if you'll kind of snatch on the bait. All right? So, this is going to represent our height. So therefore, the area of a trapezoid, which we want to make sure you have written down. So for our trapezoid, let me write it down. Trapezoid, area equals one half height times base one plus base two. So what you're going to do is actually add the bases, multiply it by the height, and multiply it by one half. All right. Now, you guys let me know. Would you like me to do an example problem of that? Or do you guys think you could probably get away with it? One more.